the great Damon Runyon used to say, oh, everything in life is six to five against, I suppose, those are the president's odds. So, look, uh, he, um, he has to take the blame for this. And while his base may love him, uh, other people are not going to identify their careers with him. I mean, uh, politics is about getting elected, getting your friends elected, and it costs $50, $60 million uh, to run for these races, and they're not going to tie themselves to a losing proposition. I think maybe um, uh, President Trump's time has come and gone. It was very interesting, but now we're looking for something else. <clears throat> but I think, you know, Josh, Josh Hawley uh, uh, from Missouri this morning said he thought the GOP was dead. He, he wants Mitch McConnell out. Now, you know, a lot of guys in their 70s and early 80s in the Senate, and they don't want to give them any more leadership roles. But uh, uh, America is now turning itself over to the younger generation, the Gen uh, Z and the uh, millennials, et cetera. And uh, America, you know, things are changing there. And then not everybody wants to go to war. And not everybody is fearful of the world. But, uh, you know, this, these trips to... Uh, uh, these multilateral conferences in, in Bali and in other places suggest that the United States wants to stay involved in the world. It's a balancing act, though, because everybody's following the U.S. lead, expecting the U.S. to provide leadership with China and other places. On the other hand, uh, American policies are going to be fought at home uh, very, very closely, as a matter of fact. Uh, and uh, I think... Um, uh, President, the, the American people, particularly when Congress is taken over, when the House is taken over by the Republicans, are going to start to hold back money on Ukraine. So that's going to be another mm. issue. So we have to look at the diplomacy to get out of that place. And um, uh, the United States um, is, is, is being asked to do a lot of things. I don't know if President Biden is up to it. I don't even know if President Trump was up to it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the world is changing and the United States has to change, too.